John R. Moyle lived in Alpine, Utah, about 22 miles as the crow flies to the Salt Lake Temple, where he was the chief superintendent of masonry during its construction. To make certain Brother Moyle was always at work by 8 o'clock, he would start walking about 2 a.m. on Monday mornings. He would finish his work week at 5 p.m. on Friday and then start the walk home, arriving there shortly before midnight. Each week he would repeat that schedule for the entire time he served on the construction of the temple. Once when he was home on the weekend, one of his cows bolted during milking and kicked Brother Moyle in the leg, shattering the bone just below the knee. With no better medical help than they had in such rural circumstances, his family and friends took a door off the hinges and strapped him onto that makeshift operating table. They then took the buck saw they had been using to cut branches from a nearby tree and amputated his leg just a few inches below the knee. When against all medical likelihood, the leg finally started to heal, Brother Moyle took a piece of wood and carved an artificial leg. First he walked around the house, then he walked in the yard. Finally, he ventured out across his property and when he felt he could stand the pain, he strapped on his leg, walked the 22 miles to the Salt Lake Temple, climbed the scaffolding with a chisel in his hand, hammered out the declaration, holiness to the Lord.